General Manoj Pandey has taken over as the army chief. He took over on Saturday, that is yesterday. He is the first officer from the Corps of Engineers to become the chief of army staff, a position that has always been held by those from the infantry, the artillery and the armoured corps. Uh, today we are right now at the south block uh, launch behind me what Indian Army flag flying and that's the office of the army chief he's going to be given a, a guard of honor he'll first go to the National War Memorial and later would be given a guard of honor what is interesting is that I've been told that you will also have the uh, Navy chief and the Air Force chief also present here for the guard of honor remember that uh, the uh, all the three officers are from the same nda uh, batch they've trained together they've worked in uh, together in different capacities at various levels but now you will have the three chiefs from the same course of the nda Well, the army is going through a very critical time. You have uh, the challenge on the northern border, of course, that is China. You have a, uh, you know, a standoff with China that has been ongoing for the last two years. You also have a Pakistan to deal with. While, yes, there has been a ceasefire agreement that has been in place for over a year and it is feared that the infiltration will continue. At the same time, the army is also, uh, you know, undergoing a modernization process. You know, I was speaking to people in the government and what been told is that modernization doesn't mean just getting a new uh, rifle or maybe a new tank modernization would mean to ensure to counter the present challenges and also the future you know uh, people in the government also tell me that the whole idea is not to match what the enemy enemy has the whole idea is to outmatch the enemy when it comes to uh, technology the army has been talking about artificial intelligence the army has been talking about a lot of stuff so one will really have to wait and see uh, you know how uh, general manoj pande actually leads this particular friend remember that prior to uh, taking over the army chief he was the vice chief and before that he was the eastern army commander he was someone who handled the indian army's entire operational uh, detail in the eastern command during the india china standoff in ladakh now the eastern command saw a large number of restructuring taking place you had a, a fusion of uh, new technology and a lot of emphasis was put on surveillance on high-tech equipment and having lesser boots on the ground using technology to leverage uh, you know uh, the, to leverage the personal the boots on the ground uh, at the same time the uh, as the eastern army commander he laid a lot of emphasis also on uh, infrastructure the need for infrastructure build up at a faster pace so one will really have to wait and see how uh, the army chief really goes about uh, with his reforms and what he is looking at my utmost and foremost priority would be to ensure very high standards of operational preparedness to face the current as well as the contempor current contemporary and the future challenges across the entire spectrum of conflict. Secondly, in terms of capability development and force modernization, my effort would be to leverage new technologies through the process of indigenization and Atma Nirbharta. Thirdly, I will like to focus on the ongoing reforms, restructuring and transformation so as to enhance the Indian Army's operational and functional efficiency. Fourthly, my aim would be again to enhance inter-service cooperation and synergy as also to actively engage with other agency so as to positively contribute towards nation building and lastly like i mentioned earlier to look after the well-being and welfare of our brave soldiers as well as ex-servicemen and veer naris well, there you go. You've heard the army chief uh, speaking and uh, elaborating on exactly what his focus would be. 
you know, I'd done a story earlier which had mentioned the fact that what his uh, new challenges would be, what lies ahead for, uh, for him and one of the main things be besides of course China and modernization was the rationalization of the workforce in the sense that army uh, right now uh, is 1.2 million strong army rumor that this is despite the fact that there has been a shortfall of about 1.3 lakh uh, soldiers you know over the last two years because of uh, you know cessation of recruitment rallies uh, that have not taken place over the last two years because of COVID but rumor that at one point of time China the PLA that is the People's Liberation Army of China was the largest army in the world with over 20 lakh men that is 2 million uh, soldiers on its rolls but uh, but since 2013 it has worked on a deliberate plan where they are focusing more on technology and reducing the footprints now the PLA is actually the third largest army with less than 10 lakh soldiers with less than 1 million soldiers and the Indian army has emerged as the largest army in the world in terms of pure numbers so this is something that the government uh, is keen on the Narendra Modi government has been pushing for a leaner and a fitter army. The whole emphasis is that uh, modern technology should be uh, brought in so that the emphasis on manpower is much less. So yes, uh, there are a number of restructures that are happening within the army. So as General uh, Pandey said, that one of his core priority areas would be carry, to carry forward the restructuring process. So this is Snee Shalek Spilip with video journalist Pooja for the print here in New Delhi.